Um, right now we are going to your dad's storage unit to pick up some donations. I'm the facilities manager here at McShin, um, which basically means that I deal with a lot of the building maintenance, the housing maintenance, um, community service, events, um, white marker project, and basically fill in the cracks wherever I'm needed. I, I spend a lot of time in the car, you know, driving from house to house and whatever needs, needs to be done. So. Um, I like to take, you know, at least one participant with me and kind of maybe, you know, I guess recovery coach them a little bit, get them out of the church, um, you know, because day after day being, being at the church um, in groups, you know, sometimes it can get a little repetitive, so I feel it's helpful to <clears throat> get them out and um, get them out of their head a little bit, you know, give them something to do, make them feel of service and, and have a little bit of a purpose. I know that's what helped me in my early recovery, so I, I think it's pretty helpful for people. Um, I've been clean for six months now, a little over six months. Um, I came down from Maine. Um, basically, so, I mean, all within the same month, I overdosed three times. Um, I crashed a, a car into another brand new park car, so I wrecked two vehicles. Um, I got some charges. I spent a little bit of time in jail. Um, so basically, I mean, that's what it took. It, it's been a long time coming, but that's what it finally took for me to just know that I needed to, needed to do something different. And um, basically, without even thinking about it, they said, you know, you have an opportunity to, to go to Virginia um, and get some help and we'll get you on a plane in the next 48 hours. And without thinking, I just, I packed up all my stuff and I got on a plane um, and came down here. And I mean, it's been a, it's been a great experience for me. I, I think that this has worked for me where a lot of other things haven't. Um, you know, everybody was very welcoming when I first got here. Um, People were very helpful, wanted to help me any way they can, so I try to give that back to people, you know, now that I, now that I can. How you doing, brother? Doing all right. We're on film right now. That's what's up? What do you do? You like getting out of the church a little bit? Yeah, doing service work, getting out, getting some fresh air. I mean, the groups are good too, but it's nice to get a little break. I enjoy it a lot. All right, so today we got Will. He's doing community service. We got Eric. Um, he he's a participant here at McShin, and then we have Eric. He's also doing community service, and he's a participant here at McShin. We should be all right. It's been working. We supposed to be looking out for each other. Yeah, you know what I mean? Paying bills. Paying and bills. Stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Having fun and just going places with your family and mm -hmm. going out to eat or going to events. That's fun. Not getting high and committing crimes and but that, that's all we seeing that's that, that, that's what we got accustomed to but now we seeing this now this is what i want to be accustomed to this is how i want to live and I, I wasn't seeing this at first you know we're just having a good time over here at the chesterfield house raising money for the the fence to get the horses done get over here hopefully by june I'm the executive director with Empower Equine Assisted Services. This is Alina Strickland. She is with Cedar Row Farm in Louisa. We've been working together for about two years to provide therapy for folks that are hoping to heal from trauma and meet therapy goals with the help of horses. We're really looking forward to it. It's going to be a great addition to McShin, um, and, and we can't wait to get it going. It's a beautiful house in the country out here in Chesterfield. 
Only three miles from the jail. I'm out here with the uh, McShin Foundation. We're at the Chesterfield House. A uh, little bit of fellowship and fun, some games, and some good old barbecue. Maybe we're gonna relapse today. Sure. Maybe tomorrow. You, got, you got that look, but not today. I like that. I like that. Who's behind me? Danny. Yeah, yeah. Danny got a girlfriend he ain't talking about. <laughs> yeah, buddy. You busted, man. You know, we hear things around here. Do you realize you cannot do anything at the smoke shack that we don't talk about? I don't care what it is. You know, I voted for Trump. We're going to hear about that. Okay? Who, who's selling crack? You gonna hear about that too? Your heart is breaking. Smile. When your heart is aching. Smile. Well, these are the type of people we need to be around yeah. for to make it out here society. So I'm thankful That's for the machine for that. And I'm why I'm here. I'm you know I'm gonna be here a week. I'm learning. I'm sitting back. I'm being quiet. I'm just soaking it in. I'm listening to them. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm listening to them. I'm watching them, and I'm just seeing how life has changed for them since they've been in recovery and staying around people mm -hmm. in recovery. So it's like that, that. That's that. That's one of the answers. That's the key. We got to stay amongst people in recovery. We got to stay amongst people who go on to work, who living right, who making right decisions, who have sponsors. Yeah. So that way, because they say even twenty some years later, being clean, they still have negative thoughts to go back and do this. So today we spoke with um, some policymakers to discuss the governor vetoing HB 2528, the felony homicide law. Um, it was a fantastic, productive meeting. Uh, we had some fantastic participants share their experience of strength and hope and hopefully, hopefully empower the governor to do the right thing and veto the bill um, and send a message through that veto that this is a public health crisis and not a, a criminal justice problem. So the way this law has been prosecuted um, across the country and other states, um, we've seen, we've seen, uh, it's been say, said that, uh, not said, it's seen that um, mothers have been, or children have been prosecuted for killing their mothers. Um, wives have been prosecuted for manslaughter and third degree murder in some states for um, murdering their husbands, uh, their fiancés and, you know, girlfriends, boyfriends, and of course kids, you know, best friends. So the law, as it's supposed, you know, supposedly the intent of the law is to go after big dealers. The problem with the law is that it, because of the nature of the gifting and the nature of just supplying or, you know, even distribution at, at a low level, um, doesn't end up targeting the big guys, it goes after the low level guys. How would they be able to discern between who 
actually gifted the drugs or sold the drugs to the person that overdosed. That's weird. Really? That's just a ring on the inside. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. That was loud that we. If they choose to do so <laughs> and veto it, this is like something that we just quickly put together, which was like a draft veto. You can. Um, a statement that we could say that, um, like, hey, if you all decide to do this, you know, we've also made it easier for you, and here's something to work off of. Feel free to use it or not. Um, but with the 40 hour span. And then we, um, we, I just bought the letter. And then what we're doing right now is we're copying and pasting all of the organizations at the end of the letter mm -hmm. so that they know that, you know, it is all of our voices together. These yeah. are multiple communities. Um, and although everyone couldn't be here in the meeting today, there are all the groups that we stand with and mm -hmm. we truly believe that we need to veto this bill mm -hmm. as it would be a huge setback for all Virginians. It would, yeah. Now they're showing us we can actually go out here and have fun without taking that one drug. Yeah. Just all being each other energy and just enjoying ourselves. And she's sober that's and, and, that's, and, and it feels good. It feels good to see that, 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 that this is possible. You know? yeah. It feels good to see it and watch it. That it actually exists. So now they get me on there, okay, we don't have to do that. For the for the ahead and enjoy ourselves, you know what I'm saying? For, for the use of something that's killing us. Yeah, but we feel like we're having fun, but in, in the end, it's, it's killing us, you know what I'm saying? It's getting us locked up. Yeah. So we can have fun without any drugs, you know what I'm saying? And just enjoying each other's company. And and, and that's, that's beautiful, and I'm looking forward to that. You know what I'm saying?